Okay, Coach Gary has joined us now. Again, the final score, 85-80. Bears with another gritty, gutty, determined win on the road. Coach, if you don't mind, let's go to the last play first. Obviously, Chattanooga kept coming back, kept coming back. You're out of timeouts after the last timeout. And, again, it's one of those deals where you really – it's not really a gamble, but Pat Urey making that long pass. If we don't touch it, it goes out of bounds. They've got it underneath their go. So walk us through your decision for that very last play. Well, because before that, it was uh, – it was a, they were just – they were not guarding the ball in bounds, the, the inbounder. They were denying everyone. It's almost like they had a short stop, like a you know where they could take the first open guy, and we were having problems getting open. So I just felt like, and they were denying. They weren't looking at the inbounder. They were just making sure their guy didn't catch it in front of them. So felt like that we could just get one deep, and and he's a really good athlete. I figured he'd go get it. It if did it was... scare me when he looked over one shoulder then had to switch and go to the other <laughs> before he caught the ball, Coach. That's right. I don't know if he played any football, but he did a good job running that uh, running that route he for did, sure. Coach. All right, Coach, let's talk about, again, the assist to turnover for one thing, Coach. 17 assists, only six turnovers today on the road against a good Chattanooga team. No, they're, they're really good. And to come in here, you have to be able to to not turn the ball over. And, and with six turnovers, that, that was our season low. Seven was our last game, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. then uh, six this time. is a, a Great effort by everybody, really. Patrick came in and gave us pretty yeah. big minutes from a defensive standpoint because yeah, yeah. we were in foul trouble. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I thought and Kamar just – he went and got some rebounds – that we desperately needed, um, and he hit his free throws. Yeah. Did a really good job of that. Double-double, 16 points, 11 rebounds. Coach, that's a career high for him. I tell you, I, I mentioned the folks, he had a boot on at breakfast this morning. He needs to wear that boot every morning at breakfast. <laughs> oh, he will. He's going to wear it for the rest of the year. He's just trying. We're just trying to be precautionary. Yeah, and, sure, sure. And, uh, but, but, you know, for Georgie to go 5 for 18 and for us still to win, that 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 says a lot about how how we just we pulled it out by being tough. Also, coach Jeff Gary, the second half. Jeff shots weren't necessarily falling the first half, but when they cut it down to two, we've got three guys with four fouls. Jeff Gary hit two huge threes. No, those were those were huge. There's no question about it. Uh, he he has that confidence in the first half. I thought he turned down some some open looks, uh, but again, it's. If you know, I always say if you're in rhythm, let yeah. it go. And so if he's not in rhythm, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, I'll, he knows the game well, but he's he's always hit some pretty big shots. Two of your best rebounders in foul trouble with four fouls, Coach Magic Bender. You had to see it, Ethan. You had to see it. Yet you still out rebound these guys, 39 to 34. Yeah, I thought James did a really good job too, uh, being a little bit undersized and playing against Villa. Villa's a load down there. Yeah. Uh, and I thought James gave us some really good minutes from just being physical and, and get some rebounds and, and also scoring some buckets. Yeah. Coach, uh, at the beginning of the day, four teams were tied uh, in the middle of the pack. There's been some separation now. You guys are second one in a row with two games to go in the regular season. Again, this team just keeps raising the bar. That's what you wanted them to do here at the end of the season. Yeah, you have to. When it, when it gets late middle February, March, that, that's what really good teams do is they just step their level up and their grit and their toughness and uh, to go on the road here uh, is a really, really good win for us. All right, Coach, final question. I know a couple of times early in the season you're a little disappointed maybe at the results. How proud are you of this team today and their efforts? Really proud just because they're they're doing a really good job of of buying in and, and they're together. And I, that, I told them in the locker room, man, when you play that hard and you play together, some really good things can happen. At least you're giving, you're going to give yourself a chance when you do yeah. those things, and I thought they did that. Well, all right, Coach. You know, I, I go through about two or three pairs of pants a year, and when the lead got down to two, I probably uh, finished this pair off. So uh, I'm going to have to get me another pair of pants for the trip over to Charleston. Right, I'll be glad to I'll be glad to, to put a few dollars in for that, too. All right, Coach. Congratulations. Get a great win here today, and now we can prepare for the Citadel uh, last regular season road game of the season coming up on Wednesday. Yeah, again, it's a road game. So, you know, it's a situation where we've got to – uh, we, we've got to step up and, and compete and understand the scouting report, and it's a total different team. So we have to be able to lock in the next couple of days and uh, and go to Citadel and, and play, you know, like like we the same toughness and togetherness and move the basketball and. Uh, so it's it's going to be. I'm looking forward to it. All right, coach. Congratulations. Great road win today. Let's enjoy the uh, trip back to Macon. Get ready for final two of the regular season next week. Absolutely. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it.